how to find the right leads using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Hi, my name is Chris Casalino, and I am the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and LinkedIn lead generation company. So a lot of people ask questions about Sales Navigator all of the time, and this video specifically is gonna go through the two different types of searches that you can do on Sales Navigator and the different ways that you can go about doing them. If you don't use LinkedIn Sales Navigator and you wanna give it a try, there's a link to a 60 day free trial in the description below. So definitely take advantage of that. So the two different types of searches on LinkedIn are the lead search, which just means searching for individuals and the account search, which means searching for companies. And then you can do a hybrid search where you actually do an account search. So a company search and you hand pick different companies to then search individuals at those companies. And that's probably the most advanced way of filtering. But let's walk through the different ways of doing a search. So the first one is the lead search. And this is searching for individuals specifically. So you have a ton of different filters. I have other videos talking about what my favorite filters are and going really in depth into each one. A newer filter that they just added back in is the school that somebody went to, which is great. Um, most people, when they come to a search, though, are going to naturally go and type in what they want in the keyword search. So maybe they're searching for pharmacists and they type that word in and, you know, you get some hits, some people that fit the targeting, some people that don't. And then they kind of get thrown off after that because they're wondering why it's not like Google and delivering the exact search results. So as a rule of thumb, my favorite filters are going to be the current company and job title. And the reason for that is you're able to do very specific searches which in, within those because they're some of the only fields that allow you to type freely in them. So they use Boolean search logic, which means that using quotations will get you that exact term. Using quotation or using parentheses rather will group terms together. And then you can use the words and, or, or not to do it. So I could do pharmacist, not coach, for example. And that would show me every pharmacist that's not a coach. I could do sales, not marketing. And that would give me everybody who's in sales, but doesn't have a marketing role in their job title specifically. So you can get really creative with the different variations that you can do here. And then you can also exclude certain titles. So I have other videos going into the exact ways to use that filter, but I want to keep this more broad and go over the different types of searches so we can move on. So a lead search is going to be best when you're searching for specific people at a company and you can actually search somebody's profile specifically because it would have it in there. So this is going to be best for things like you're searching for a very specific job title at a company that's easy to identify or a group of companies that's easy to identify. So maybe you're searching for the owner of marketing companies, and that's easy enough to be able to put into here. Lead searches are going to be great for those more simplistic searches where there's not a ton of variables. It's a straightforward title, even if you have to get a little creative with it and a straightforward company or industry. So that is how to use lead filters. Account filters are gonna be best used when you need to get a feel for a specific type of company in something that isn't normally gonna be shared in a personal profile. So I shared that I don't like keywords in lead searches as much because there's a bunch of different words on people's individual profiles. So if you are doing a lead search on and using, using a keyword search in a lead search, it's going to search that keyword on everything in somebody's profile. So their headline, their about section, the posts that they've made, their experiences, it's going to go through all of those, whether it's current or not. So keywords are good and bad for that reason, because it's going to search an entire person's profile. The nice thing about using keywords in an account search is it's going to do that same thing, except only for the company page specifically. And the company pages a lot of the times are not going to have a ton of fluff to go off of. So 
Recently, we did some work with a company that wanted to target animal-free, high-protein companies that have the word healthier, better for you. They were targeting you know, these health-conscious companies that make a physical product and make an edible product, but do it in a resourceful and renewable way. So we had to get creative with the types of ways that we needed to do this search. And one of the ways that we came up with it was searching for terms like animal free and high protein. So specifically, we were working with a company that was trying to sell their method of extracting animal free protein to then be able to put into products that another company would be using the lead that we'd be going after for a food grade product. So that's where the idea to search for this animal free, high protein, healthier, better for you type of targeting came into play. Now, of course, we want to get in touch with the individuals at these companies. So there's two ways to go about that. One way would be to go into the company profile within LinkedIn, and then look at the different employees that are at this company. So you can do this by clicking into, let me find a company with a couple more employees than that last one. You can do this by clicking into either the account map or the decision maker area right there. The probably better way that takes a little bit longer is to hand pick the companies that would be a good fit. So let's just go ahead and let's pick three companies and then save them to an account list. And actually it looks like I have one already saved. So I'm going to just go ahead and use that list that I have saved. And then we'll go to account lists here and we will go to the one that has those animal free search terms in it. I'm going to take those keywords out of the lead search because I won't need them in here since I handpicked the companies. And now maybe I want to go after somebody in manufacturing or engineering and a bunch of other different job titles that we could think of, maybe supply chain. I'll just use the word supply. So now out of these 100 companies that I added to this list that we generated from that kind of animal free, healthier, high protein company list. Now we have the individuals working at those specifically handpicked companies. Now, this requires a couple additional steps than just doing a lead search, but it also allows us to be really confident that the people we're going to be reaching out to now are the exact people that we want to get in touch with. So just to recap, a lead search is going to be really, really good when you know the exact titles you want to get in touch with and the company types that you want to get in touch with. And there's not a whole lot more than that. There's not a, a lot of nuances with the companies themselves. It's pretty, you know, straightforward with the types of companies you're trying to get in touch with. Now, account searches are going to come into play when you're going for a specific niche within a niche of certain types of companies. So food product, but then also going after people that have a protein synthesis specifically in this scenario, in this example. So that's when adding those companies that are very specific to a list and then going back to a lead search and adding that account list into play and then searching specific job titles from that handpicked account list. That's going to be the most intensive way of doing a LinkedIn sales navigator search, but it's going to get you some of the most specific results in fields that would be otherwise difficult to target for. I know this video was a lot more technical than I usually like to go into, but it's kind of hard to break down this into being super basic since it is a more complex targeting strategy. But the things to remember are that leads are individuals in LinkedIn terms, accounts are companies in LinkedIn terms. And if you want to find individuals at a very specific account or company, then you have to do kind of a hybrid of targeting the both. Hopefully this video brought you some value. If it did, please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. That is the free way to help us out. Until next time.